All right, hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today we check out a super cool, super weird pedal in the Origin Effects Revival Drive. Let's get into it. So, why do I say this pedal is super weird? For a few reasons, actually. For one, um, if it's not obvious to you already, this pedal just has some of the most interesting um, controls on it out of any overdrive slash preamp pedal that, uh, that I've ever come across. And the second weird part is right there. I said overdrive slash preamp pedal because this pedal can definitely serve both of those roles in very competently. Um, it's really interesting. So as a pre when used as a preamp, I feel like you can get very martially old master volume amp type of tones out of it and it sounds really really good like you can definitely do some high high gain stuff with it for sure um particularly when you boost it which is we'll go into all that in a second also this pedal can act as an overdrive on its own and i personally i think that's how i prefer using it um but that's probably just because ultimately i prefer the sound of my full amp to using any freaking um preamp pedal particularly a non-valve preamp pedal a full amp just sounds better. That said, um, I feel like you can kind of get some of that uh, martial -y character when using it as an overdrive and going into something else and still just kind of retain some of that martial stuff, which I think is super cool. But we'll get into that in the second part of this video. For now, I want to show you what this sounds like, can sound like as a preamp pedal. So we're running the revival drive into my KSR PA50, which has 606 power amp tubes in it. At certain points, I'm going to turn on my duality my duality DX by DAE and uh, yeah you'll notice that I'm running the overdrive pedal I mean excuse me I'm running my gate pedal before the revival drive um, I noticed that in my favorite youtubers video John Brown he ran this pedal when he, he was using it as a preamp but he still ran the uh, noise gate after this pedal excuse me typically I find that in the best case scenario you want to run your gate after your overdrive pedal. That said, at certain settings, this can be a noisy pedal, particularly when using it as a preamp. Um, the settings I like when using it as an overdrive, I don't have too many noise issues. I leave the, the pedals in exactly this order, so I'm not even using an overdrive after it, and I don't get a bunch of noise. But enough talking, let's go ahead and get into this. Like I said, we're gonna use this as a preamp pedal first, and we'll jump back and forth. So the left side of this pedal is a tube rectifier, whereas the right side uses um, what is it? Uh, diodes, supposedly. It's n neither. It doesn't have any tubes in the pedal, but the left side is simulating tubes. The right side uses diodes. But let's go ahead and get into it. Here we go. We'll start on the tube side of the pedal. think of this pedal as acting like a non-master volume amp. With that said, the volume control is actually what you would think of as the traditional gain control, but then you also have this output knob here which just lets you adjust the overall volume. So think of volume as preamp volume, which would be going into the power amp section here and thus increasing the amount of gain that you have.
I'm liking those settings pretty much. So the ghost control, this pretty much adds ghost notes and stuff that you may or may not be able to hear. It's very subtle control. I'll go ahead and go from max to min on it so you can possibly hear what it does. something that uh, bluesier folks will probably be more interested in. For me, it's not really a huge deal. I tend to leave it kind of low because if anything, I think that it might muddy up my chords a little bit when you have it run too high. That said, let's, <clears throat> excuse me, let's kind of mirror out the controls on both sides and then jump back and forth between the valve side and the silicon side. For both sides of this pedal, you can select whether you want a GB, Great Britain, or a US voiced preamp in, in uh, on both sides of the pedal. When you, running it as a preamp and going for high gain stuff, I tend to prefer them both on the US side. You just get a little bit more gain out of it that way. There you go. So basically, yeah, the tube side is a little bit uh, looser, smoother sounding, maybe a little bit more compressed, whereas the uh, silicone diode side is definitely tighter, more aggressive. But that said, I tend to find myself spending more time on the tube side of the pedal. Uh, but that said, let's go ahead and turn on my overdrive pedal over here and see what we can get out of that. This is where I tend to find think that the pedal shines. So just as a reminder, this overdrive right here is one of my favorites. It has three modes, but we're only going to use two. There is a green mode, which is like a regular Tube Screamer. And then there's a blue mode, which is closer to like the TC Electronics uh, Clean Boost type of deal, where it's not adding any gain, but it can add volume and then a high or low cut or boost. And we'll mess around with both. Let's start on the Tube Screamer mode.
Okay, slight change there, I guess. So when running in overdrive, which is how I'm normally gonna be using it, I think I do prefer the, uh, the silicone side of it. I think that sounded really, really quite good. Let's go over to the uh, blue channel of the DX, which like I said, is like more of a clean boost. really really super cool um that said let's go ahead and let me show you what this pedal can do as an overdrive uh for this we're going to use yeah let's go ahead and say two amps we'll use both my ksr artemis and the cherry tone leviathan and yeah let's go ahead and get into it Thank you. 
let's see how that stacks up against the more traditional overdrive. In this case, like I said, the Duality DAE DX. Um, nope. So the DAE is sitting behind a noise gate, whereas the Revival Drive is not. So just be aware of that. But yeah, let's jump back and forth between the two. <laughs> quite nice like I said this is not sitting behind a noise gate so there's a little bit more noise than I would like here but it's not really that bad even still um, and it works out really great comparing it to a more traditional overdrive here like I said I just feel like I get a little bit more character out of it like it may not be it's not the, a traditional uh, sounding sound that I'm getting um it's just a little bit different but that said I think it's very clear it's full and I just think it sounds really, really quite good. Like I said, I feel like it's injecting some of that uh, more classic feel into the tone, which I really, you know, dig quite a lot. Uh, that said, we're using a very crunch-oriented sound on the Artemis here. Let's jump over to something a little bit uh, more saturated on the Cherry Tone. Thank you. 
And there we go. Um, so yeah, I'm actually really excited to go ahead and try and uh, use this for a boost on uh, some actual recorded tracks. Cause uh, I feel like you just get a whole heck of a lot of clarity out of that. So towards the end there, I was feeling like maybe I needed a little bit more low end to kind of balance out what was happening there. But uh, I was getting quite a lot of clarity out, out of my chords. So even through all that distortion, I could hear pretty much all the notes and I was, uh, hitting those big chords that I was hitting. I could hear every note individually ringing through. I think that it sounds great. Uh, for the next video I'm gonna do, which may very well be today, I'm gonna compare the Revival Drive and the KSR Vesta, which are both meant to be more martially kinda, uh, not so necessarily modern sounding over, I mean, preamp pedals or overdrives. Both in this case, KS, the Vesta is definitely a preamp pedal. But uh, both can definitely do quite a lot of things. I like them quite a lot and uh, yeah, that said, overall impressions right now is that although I think the Revival Drive sounds phenomenal as a preamp pedal compared to other preamp pedals, I mostly prefer using it as an overdrive pedal or as a boost here. But yeah, hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, you want to see more of the Revival Drive and plenty of other metal guitar gear, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and yeah, you guys take care.